Howdy y'all, and uh, we are back. I'm gonna do some farming today, or at least some uh, looking around on this here map. Uh, Taste of Donegal. This map is made by, let me look at my notes, Dylan Alcorn. Uh, we're gonna take a look at it today, do a little video, uh, kind of a walk around, whatever. Uh, take the time to go ahead and pause the video and read this here intro. I'm not gonna read it for you. You guys can all pretty much read, I, I suppose. We're going to jump in here. I don't know how long this video is going to be. We're going to do some running around. Uh, check out, you know, what the map looks like and whatnot. Uh, let's jump in here real quick. We'll see what we got. Uh, looks like we got what, four tractors. One dude's far. One stair. One Sammy. One New Holland. Got this combine. And uh, I don't really like that combine, so we might end up... I might end up changing combines. I don't really like that one very much. Uh, of course, let me know what you think. If you want me to keep it, I, I could think about it, you know. Might be a couple days before I even do episode one, or episode two, I should say. Uh, let's see. I don't like that tipper, so I definitely want to get rid of that, and this, and this. Uh, I won't need that plow. I don't really like plowing that much. Uh, you will need the Marshall Mod Pack. Um, on the uh, download page, there is a link that says go here to download it. I didn't do that. I already have like plenty of mods, so I should cover at least most of what he might have in this uh, in this map. So if you want to know what the mods you need are, you need to go to this, go to the link, download everything. He does give you this here, uh, this wood trailer, timber trailer, whatever you want to call it, the Steepa. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Uh, it doesn't cover the whole map, obviously. Uh, it looks like you got a lot of fields. Um, they're probably pretty good size. This is actually probably not a very good representation. It looks like, though, you own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fields, it looks like. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we're going to jump in the New Holland. Let's just look real quick. Uh, looking in here tells you a lot, too. Um, one, two, three, four, what, four cell points, looks like. Uh, wood chips, and pigs, and beef. So somewhere on this map are pigs and beef. Uh, so keep your eyes out, you know, keep your eyes peeled for those. We did a bit of running around. I ran around a little bit on this map, so I'll know where some of the things are. Uh, this here to your left, or to your right, is a silage pit and a fuel pump. Uh, to your left here is where you put your cows. This is where your cows are going to be. Uh, if you look at the pictures on the download page, you will, uh, you'll see that this here is where your cows are. Uh, now I do know that your equipment and stuff will spawn in right down there. Okay, right down the hill there. They'll spawn in in this field with the cows. Uh, not ideal, but you know, you got to have a place nearest the farm. You will need the animation map trigger, if you didn't notice that. You'll definitely need that, otherwise you won't even be able to open the gates. Uh, there's your Marshall trailer and your other tractor. Looks like a water source right there. Um, got a field you already own, field 10 there. Looks like it's probably barley. Get your manure pit. Uh, liquid slurry coming out of right there. Head on down the road here. Now the bushes, uh, the bushes have collisions, just so you know put that out there real quick. The bushes do have collisions. Uh, I think I'm going to run in here on foot just to kind of check it out. Show you guys a bit of storage. That's good. Place to park all your tractors and trucks and trailers and whatnot. I don't know if I'd bring my combine all the way down here, but maybe. Uh, a little bit of, you know, I can't remember the word I always use, but just make it look good. You know, aesthetic. And then he's got this neat little thing here. I have never actually seen this. This is how you buy your field. Uh, it doesn't have the buy, normal buy icon. Uh, he just puts a lock in there. But uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh, let's see if we can get out here. Okay, let's take a ride. Uh, we'll go this way. It looks like there's probably a village or something over there to the left. What is that? I don't think I ever went up here last time. Whoop. There we go. Take a 
drive up here. I don't, I actually don't think I even went up here last time. I kind of drove around the map. I actually did a video before this, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I just, I'm just redoing it. You know, uh, okay. What do we got here? You hear that? That's pigs. This is where your pigs are. There's no icon on the map. Maybe I forgot to put it in, maybe you didn't want to. I don't know. So your pigs are there, and I'm assuming this down here is your beef then. Uh, that'll be your manure pit right there. Your slurry. Looks like there's already grass in here, but uh, I don't know. Whoop. That's not really ideal. Okay. Just future reference when you come down the other end of the cattle barn, there's nowhere to go out. You don't want to get trapped in there and have to reset your tractor and trailer and whatnot. It's kind of nice how they're in the same alley there. You can just kind of drive down through there and do your business. Fill up your stuff and things. Uh, let's go. I guess let's go this way. Check it out. Let's see what it looks like. I don't think this is a real big map, uh, as you can see, but it is very aesthetic. It really is. Look at all that. That that right there is a beautiful shot. I think when we get to the top of the hill, we're gonna take a screenshot. That'll be our, uh, our picture. Go on the uh, where you click on the video and whatnot. I'm just kind of zoom out here. Look at that. That's a beautiful picture. All right, and fields, fields, more fields, and we'll head down. pretty much know what fields look like. Everybody watching this has probably been a farmer on the farming simulator for a bit. Uh, okay, so I think this is the, this is back to the main farm. Uh, let's run. Where do we want to go? Uh, let's take a left. Go over by that tunnel. Uh, now as far as I know, there's no traffic. I do have my traffic turned on, so there's no traffic on this map. Like you got forestry. You do have lots of forestry on this map. And as long as you keep replanting this stuff, all this right here in front of me to my left, you know, all this is forestry. That all that up in there is forestry. Uh, if you can if you look on your mini map there, that's a that's a pretty good sized forestry area to be honest. But it would take you quite a while to get through excuse me, get through all them trees. Oh, get the hiccups or burps or something. So that there's got a fuel spot, it's got water, uh, that's a grain cell point. Um, I will show you this right quick, because it's not on the mini map that you can see. Uh, if you come all the way down here in the end, there's your wool pallet. Just so you know. Uh, sell straw right there, obviously. You sell grain right there, I don't know, maybe that's the store. Uh, let's take a look right quick. That's probably... Not the biomass. It's got to be homeland, because that's the only place you can sell grain. So that right there is homeland, obviously. Uh, you basically only have. It looks like you only got one sell point for each thing. Now this right here is your store. Uh, you got your fuel. That's pretty much it. Okay, there's not a whole lot at the store. Um, and, you know that's fine. You don't really need anything at the store, really. Uh, you, you, got, you, know, you got buttons, automatic buttons for everything. If you buy this stuff, it will show up at the store. Um, and then when you reset it, it'll, it'll show up in your your uh, dairy cow field. Daughtry's tradition of quality. Uh, okay, we'll go over here real quick and I'll show you. Practice our backing skills since we've been off for a bit. Uh, I know it's been a couple days since I've done a video. I'm sorry about that. I've been you know, still working, you know doing house stuff. Uh, pig shed, cattle shed, so that's where you just kind of back your trailer in there and you sell your cows and your pigs. Um, got another field here you own. Oh, that's weird. I didn't think I was fearing too much, but I guess maybe I was. Uh, it looks like, actually it looks like barley too. Maybe that's wheat. I don't know. I'm just running into all sorts of stuff. 
I think my steering is broken. That's what it's got to be. It can't be me. There's no way. You guys know my professional driving skills. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure this is not where I turn it. Kind of messing this up now. Showing you guys everything. Okay, showing it to you. I'm getting to see it. All in all, we'll just kind of cruise down here. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess it's just storage. I'm sure you can sell. Uh, oh, there's seed. There's seed pallets in there, so that's your seeding place. I haven't seen any fertilizer tanks. This looks like an animal place, of some kind. And silage pit. Uh, more aesthetic stuff. Is there anything over there? Fuel tank. That's about it. Okay. I haven't seen any fertilizer, I don't think. Unless those fuel tanks will do fertilizer. I don't think they will. Uh, if you guys know where the fertilizer is, if I don't pointed out by the end of this video, you guys can let me know, because I haven't seen it. Left over here. I think the chickens are over here, as far as I remember. There's more seed stuff there. I hear the rooster. There's the rooster. So I'm assuming the chickens just uh, kind of wander around here in this little yard. I think last time I came in here, the, the rooster was actually walking out of these bushes. So uh, we'll just have to find out later on uh, how this all goes. Uh, I think I missed it again. Uh, your grain storage at the main yard is uh, a little more, like, it leaves some to be desired, I should say. Uh, it's not necessarily what I would choose. There's your sheep. Okay, so I got another question. Because maybe I'm just not the brightest guy in the bunch. But okay, this is water. Obviously that's water. Okay. But where do you put grass to feed the sheep? And where do you collect your wool pallet? Because there should be a pallet thing here somewhere. Uh, what's his name? Dylan? Um, Dylan, if you watch this, buddy. Um, oh, never mind. There's your pallet there. I have an odd spot for it, but okay. Just so you guys know, that is where you pick up your pallet. It's right there next to this pallet. It'll spawn on that little slab. Okay, so now where's the grass? I'm sure a bunch of people are probably going to look this up and watch it to see if, you know, and skip to this part where I'm by the sheep trying to figure out where the grass goes. Okay, so we figured out the pallet thing, the wool thing. So, Dylan. Alright, buddy. Never mind about the wool, we figured that out. Where do I put my grass? Where do I dump my grass to feed the sheep? Because I'm pretty sure it'll still say I gotta feed the sheep. Sheep. Water. So he's got the water mod. Feeding trough. Where is the feeding trough, Dylan? Okay, buddy. You can just send me a message or leave a comment below and tell everybody where the feeding trough is. Because I'm not seeing it. I mean, surely you wouldn't dump the, the grass in the same trough as the, uh, the water. Maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know. If anybody knows, they can send me a message. If Dylan watches this, he knows. I'll, you know, of course, he made the map. He should know. But uh, shoot me a message or leave me a comment or whatever and just say, Hey, feeding trough is, you know, you know 10 yards from where you're standing or something like that. Or you can be at such and such seconds. This is where it was. Uh, let's see, gas station. Wish they, that was an actual truck. It'd be nice if those trucks like that had more timber. Cut down right next to the farm. Donegal Creameries. Uh, maybe this is... This is kind of just aesthetic, I think. I don't see anywhere to actually sell your milk. Oh, never mind, it's right there. Okay, so maybe the stop milk mod or whatever is active. That means we need to go back to the dairy cows and check out and see where you load up your milk at. Uh, as long as I ain't completely lost. Um, 
been down there. So let's just go back to the main yard. Uh, let's run back to the main yard. Because I've already been over there to the left. Uh, over there to the left is the uh, pigs and beef. Now, I don't know what side of the road to drive on in Ireland. Because this is an Irish map. And the description says it's Irish map. So, uh, yeah. Whatever right, side of the road you drive on in Ireland. If you were from Ireland, if you were Irish, send me a message. Tell me what side of the road you drive on. Uh, I used to watch an Irish guy on YouTube. I don't anymore. Never noticed which way, you know, which side of the road he drove on. But most of the games, I think, were non driving games. Either today or tomorrow or something like that, uh, I might go ahead and down or start this map, you know. But I'm not sure. I'm a little iffy about it just because it's got some things I don't much care for. Uh, let's see. I pulled out of here to the left, going back down. So let's drive over here real quick. I'm just kind of check it out. Okay, so that's just a house. So this is where your grain storage is. This is one of the things that I don't much care for. Okay. Is the, you know, for one, not having a tip point. Which is fine because Ireland may not actually do that whole, you know, drop and like dump it in the ground and it get put in the chute. Whew, excuse me. Almost sneezed there. I was trying to reach reach for my mute button and uh didn't, but okay. Um, but yeah, like, maybe Ireland doesn't do that whole drop it in the ground and it kind of just go where it needs to go into the silo. Uh, but yeah, you know, you got to scoop it up with a loader. What I might do is, because I don't like doing the loader thing, and you don't start with a loader. Uh, just to make that clear, Dylan, Dylan Alcorn, uh, buddy, normally when people do, uh, start, like, with your maps like this, right, you'll start with a loader. I'm not saying you messed it up or not like that. I'm just saying, uh, generally, when you have to scoop your grain to sell it, then uh, you start with a loader, which I think this one right here is loader capable. Yeah, it can also attach a front loader. So, giving us a front loader would be fantastic. Okay, and if it's a mod that I don't have that gives you a front loader, I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't looked at your mods list. Um, but yeah, because uh, I don't see anywhere to actually automatically pick it up. I do have a mod for the little conveyor. You just kind of stick in it and put your trailer under it and it loads it for you, which is probably what we're going to use, people. I'm probably just going to buy four of them and I'm just going to put them, like, kind of set them over here at the side or something like that. Uh, and I'll put my automatic loaders in there myself so I don't have to scoop it. Yeah, this here tractor, this is the one that can do a front loader. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of like a, a tip. You know, maybe when you do, if you do an update or something like that, maybe put in there, you know, add the loader, uh, loader arms in a bucket. You know, that'd be great. Because like right now, as it sits, you can't sell grain to make money. Okay, granted, you can go harvest the field and sell the grain off the field and make a bit of cash. But it would be awful nice simply sell what you got to go buy some stuff if you don't want to do what I'm probably going to do and just give yourself money and start out with certain equipment. Um, now I'm going to take uh, suggestions for this map. Uh, the other map we're doing, Quartz Farm, uh, I have mostly John Deere equipment. Now this map I could do mostly of one thing but I could also do just a variety of stuff. You know, if you'd like to see mostly case stuff or mostly New Holland stuff, uh, I can do that. I don't really know of any other brands that you could do most everything. Like, I could do all case. Only case tractors, only case combines, only case, you know, stuff, this and that, you know. So, uh, yeah, if that's what you guys want to see, just let me know. Uh, I'm not sure. I know I keep saying, but I... I'm not sure what I'm going to do for, you know, the first of the video where we actually start on this map. Uh, it might be a couple of days. I might do Quartz Farm, 
another Quartz Farm episode, just kind of tied us over for a bit. Um, this is going to be uploaded tonight, on Saturday. Saturday for me, probably Sunday for most of you. And then, uh, oh yeah, I said I was going to look for a place where you pick up your milk. Um, that's, that's got a black and white stripe. That might be where you pick up your milk at. Because the black and white, the box over at the milk sale point is black and white. Uh, if you guys know, let me know. It's not normally what it looks like, but uh, that's probably what it is because it matches. You know, the, the color scheme matches for the square or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll just do it for this here video. Uh, if there's anything you guys want to see, any, any tutorials, I'm sure I can figure it out and let you know. Just like I do with Quartz Farm. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we'll be starting on this here map in a couple of days, probably. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. Leave me a like, a dislike, subscribe, you know, whatever you guys want to do. If you do leave a dislike, please leave a comment telling me why you dislike it. So far, I haven't gotten any dislikes, but there's always a first for everything, right? Um, thanks for watching, and this here is the Butcher Man saying have a nice afternoon.